Quest for a Thousand Songs, episode 86. 86 straight weeks of two new original songs inspired by suggestions, oftentimes by listeners. Direct from the Rob Lincoln Unpresidential Library, this is a rare Wednesday night show. Things were very busy, but we managed to write two new songs tonight and learned a new cover. So stay tuned for episode 86. One of our most unusual suggestions has come from a regular contributor, singer-songwriter Richard Hunt of the Philadelphia area, has made many suggestions over the last year and a half of the quest. Many folk suggestions, but also some interesting rock and pop suggestions. Here's one I never expected. He suggested I write a song in the style of the 1910 Fruit Gun Company. Well, how many of you have ever heard of the 1910 Fruit Gun Company? If you're from the 60s, you certainly did like me. They wrote songs that sounded like nursery rhymes. They were the most bubblegum of bubblegum groups. Their most famous hit is Put Your Hand on Your Head, Simple Simon Says. Another big hit was One, Two, Three, Red Light. So, I've written songs that sound bubblegum-ish in the past, but this is the first time I wrote a song explicitly trying to write a bubblegum song. It is called That Takes the Cake. Here's a little bubblegum for you. A little ditty called That Takes the Cake. Simple Simon was a pie man He went to get cherry pie Saw the picture Woody Fryman Thought he was a real nice guy He went to the bakery window To take a look at the yummy pie Tried to guess which way the winds go Took a deep breath and felt so Custard pie, they taste good. I tell no lie. Let's go down to the corner bakery. There's so many pastries we can take. Let's go down to the corner bakery where I can say that takes the cake. Where I can say that takes the cake. Jack Horner in the same corner Went to get some plum pudding Thought he could resist the donuts But soon he just ate everything Apple mince and custard pie And they taste good, I tell them songs I've ever written, but it was catchy, as many bubblegum songs are. Hopefully someone out there might have actually liked it, but if not, I certainly understand. Now for something completely different. So this is a suggestion by a very different songwriter, Anne Ramsey from Delaware, wonderful songwriter, and her husband suggested I listen to some 
Blonde on Blonde. Well, I don't know if this sounds that much like anything on Blonde on Blonde, but I think you'll hear a little bit of Dylan influence. It's called Corrine. Not to be confused with other songs with similar names or the same name. I saw you in the backyard of a life that is no longer there. I asked if you were waiting for the sign that said no trespassing beware. Once you looked like a magazine model before, now you look like you were thrown out of your old man's back door. So I guess you'll be staying in your car. But you were about the poodle and the cat You said you never saw me I said why on earth would I ask you that In Santa Barbara I saw you in a small cafe making smoke rings and certainly having your way Now I guess you'll be sleeping in a big cat lap. Make sure the seats can lean right back Come home with me, Kareem, today Once you were 19 and I was 21 You saw the silver screen I was just looking for someone for how wrong So you have an age well But the work is what age you the most Once you were ambitious and I was a bum Now look whose hand is on the other thumb So I guess you'll be coming on with me You see how just easy it can be When you come on with me That one sounds, in some ways, a little Springsteen-esque. Certainly, um, not comparing the quality, but the style. And um, like the other one, these are the first times I've played the songs through. Goes right to camera. No time for practice! Who needs practice? And we'll do the same with another song. I did almost learned the song about 40 years ago in my room, but I never actually learned it or ever played it to anyone. So I think the next song is considered a brand new cover I've learned. Very simple song, given the amount of time I have to learn. So we've had two Tom Paxton songs in the quest. This is the second one. It's called Bottle of Wine. I've always been a fan of Tom Paxton, so let's put a capo on this and see what happens. Bottle of wine. 
When you gonna let me get sober Let me alone, let me go home Let me go back and start over Rambling around this dirty old town Playing for nickels and dimes Time's getting rough, I ain't got enough To buy me a bottle of wine Bottle of wine, fruit of the vine When you gonna let me get sober Let me alone, let me go home Let me go back and start over A little old town, older than hell Dark as cold in a mine A blanket too thin, I lay there in grin Cause I got me a bottle of wine Bottle of wine, fruit of the vine When you gonna let me get sober Leave me alone, let me go home Let me go back and start over Pain in my head, bugs in my bed Pants are so old that they shine out on the street I tell people I meet Won't you buy me a bottle of wine? Well, a preacher will preach A teacher will teach A miner will dig in the mine I ride the rods, trusting in God, and hugging my bottle of wine. Bottle of wine, fruit of the vine. When you gonna let me get sober? Leave me alone, let me go home. Let me go back and start over. Let me go back and start over. Well, that was an easy song to learn, and I still managed to screw it up a bit. But we got to get these songs up, and uh, maybe someday I'll do an orchestrated version. And uh, no, maybe not. Have fun, wherever you are. Hope you enjoyed something here. Thank you for listening. If you haven't liked, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hopefully we'll be back next week for song number 900 in Quest for a Thousand Songs. That was episode 86.